Nearly a week ago, when the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife recruit William Tex Bailey died. Officials say he experienced a medical emergency during a training exercise in Barron County on Friday that led to his death. Now those who knew him are opening up about this tragedy and talking about the man he was. WKYT's Alyssa Williams has more. Before William Tex Bailey was a game warden recruit with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, he was an offensive lineman for Eastern Kentucky University's football team. Beginning his college football career around the same time Walt Wells began as the team's head coach. Great teammate, great person, uh, always positive, always uh, upbeat and, and caring and worried about his brother, worried about, you know, when I say brother, his teammates. Wells says he was told the news about Bailey as the team was flying out to Texas for a game. He says there are several current players who played alongside Bailey. Uh, obviously, we're shocked and, and just wondering what happened. The Colonels walked off the gridiron that Saturday with a win, but this one felt even more special. After the game, when John Stone, you know, brought the team, when we were singing Cabin on the Hill and everything, uh, and John made words that, you know, hey, it's no coincidence that we're in Texas and, and you know, Texas watching over us. And so uh, I think you can tell how much it meant to them. Wells and the team extend their condolences to those who knew and loved him beyond the field. I just got off the phone with his father and, uh, you know, we're praying for him. Uh, we're there for him and uh, anything they need from us, they know they, that we'll be there for him. In Richmond, Alyssa Williams, WKYT. Bailey is originally from Madison, Alabama, and he will be laid to rest there on Friday.